What's going on What's guys? Go Welcome back to Grave Uncut. This is a follow-up video to the last episode of What the Fuck Internet. Because a lot has changed since then. There has been more information that popped up about this virus that it got worse. It got worse by a fuck ton. Because more people were getting tested, more people were testing positive for it, and people are dying from it a little bit more than the people that died uh, from 9-11. Anyway, I digress. There's a lot that I want to touch base on here. Now, to get started, there are people protesting because they cannot do certain things. Because what's going on now in the United States, everything is shut down if you don't know. If you don't know, you've been living under a rock for the last, I don't know, fucking four weeks. But I digress. So, to the people that are protesting, you're fucking stupid for doing it. You shouldn't be protesting, you shouldn't be out gathering like that because, well, for, for instance, uh, you're gonna get the fucking virus and fucking croak. And those of you that are dumb enough to do it, uh, you probably should. I'm not saying you should die, because that's fucked up, but don't be stupid. Anyway, so people are now protesting because they can't get haircuts, they can't get massages. First off, if you're bitching that you can't get a haircut or a massage, grow the fuck up, Snowflake. It just fucking annoys the shit out of me. Because you have people that are fucking dying out there. You got, like, in the entire United States, the world itself, there are, there's upwards of about a million people that fucking have the virus and hundreds of thousands of people that died from the virus. In New York alone, we had about roughly 20,000 people that were infected, roughly 4,000 plus uh, that died from it. So, I'm gonna ask you, is bitching about not being able to get a haircut really that bad? I mean, hell, I can use a fucking haircut. I'm not saying I fucking have my hair growing down to my ass, but still, stop bitching about not being able to get a haircut. I got the best way to solve that problem. If you need a fucking haircut, guys, this might be a little bit easier to say to you than it is to the female parts of the audience, but the jink that possibly, oh, I don't know, fucking buzz your head. I mean, a fucking, uh, fucking electric buzzer only costs about 20, 30 bucks, and it'll do the fucking job. Oh, but you don't want to cut your hair that short. Oh, fucking watch some goddamn YouTube tutorials. They have videos where people will get their fucking hair, to find ways to cut their own fucking hair. It's not that difficult. It's only as difficult as you make it fucking be. And if you're too fucking dumb, and in hell, if you're fucking protesting, you probably shouldn't be handling a pair of scissors to begin with. But, I digress. Those of us that are bitching about not being able to get a massage, oh, if anybody could use a fucking massage right now, it would be my ass. Because I'm... When I'm not doing YouTube videos, I'm what you would consider, um... Sacrificial, I mean essential, sorry, I mixed up, I mixed up the word, the two, the two kind of get mixed up sometimes. A lot of, again, I don't get into my personal business, but I do work in a field that is, deems me essential. So, I'm out 90% of the time. That's the only reason why I haven't been putting out content as often. Because of all the shit that's been going on. Because I've had no time. This is literally the one time that I've had to sit down and record a video for you guys. But I'm still doing it. I'm still pushing out content. I'm still trying to push out content. But I am what you would deem as an essential employee. An essential worker. There are people like me. Hell, I'm on the bottom of the totem pole as far as essential workers goes. Those that are working in grocery stores, the EMS, the EMTs, they deserve as much, if not the most, recognition out of this than anybody. Because, for instance, if... You're treating a grocery store employee like shit because you can't get toilet paper. Well, first off, you dumb motherfuckers were the ones that bought the fucking shit out in the first place. So don't blame the fucking cashiers. Don't blame the grocery store union uh, uh, staff. Blame yourself. Because I can assure you, you did not need 3,200 fucking rolls of toilet paper to wipe your fucking ass. For fuck's sake. And giving these grocery store guys so much shit and so much aggravation, more aggravation, I know for a fact what they go through because one of my old jobs was in retail and I can assure you this phrase the customer is always right is a long fucking load of shit because a lot of fucking customers they will act entitled I can assure you for it I've seen it I've witnessed it first fucking hand so if you're at the grocery store follow the regulations follow the rules stop being an asshole stop treating these guys like shit Hell, stop treating the EMS like shit. Stop treating the fucking police like shit because they're trying to fucking protect your dumbass. 
Oh, I'm gonna think it can't get a fucking haircut because it's not no, open. No shit, nothing's fucking open. And the longer you bullshit and bitch around, guess what? The longer it's gonna take shit to open the fuck up. You think I wouldn't want? You think anybody would wa wouldn't want to fucking go out and do some shit? Hell, this is the perfect fucking time to learn a fucking hobby. Cause you got so much goddamn downtime. You can learn guitar, learn to make fucking YouTube content, you learn to edit videos, learn to do certain shit in your fucking yard. Hell, one of the things that I've been doing, which I've been pretty active on my Instagram account about, is doing automotive body work. That's right. I do car, I'm a big car fanatic. This is something you'll slowly learn about me at this point. I'm a big car guy, so I'll d delve more into that project later on. But as far as everything else, this is the time to learn a skill. This is the time to get off your fucking ass and learn some shit. I can't stress this shit enough. For, as far as the grocery store people, as far as the gro people that work in grocery stores, stop treating them like shit. As far as the people that are fucking trying to their damnedest, the nurses, the doctors, stop giving them shit. Do what the fuck you're supposed to do. Stay the fuck home. Hell, there's ads on YouTube all over the place. I'm seeing them every 20 seconds. Oh, the stay home initiative. So, um, stay home. That's the biggest thing I can suggest you do. Stay the fuck home. Granted, this video might not be used as far as those ads because I've been cussing like a left, I've been cussing left and right. But, stop being a dick. Stop being an asshole. Do what the fuck you're supposed to do. And shit will open up a lot fucking quicker. Because at the rate shit's going, uh, let's see, it's now toward the end of April. We've been down since the start of March. At the rate we're going, we're not going to be back up and running till June. Can everybody, like, get their fucking heads out of their asses, stop acting like entitled pricks, and, oh, I don't know. Stay the fuck home. Learn some shit. Learn, to, learn a fucking skill. Do some yard work. I don't fucking know. Whatever the fuck you choose to do, that's on you. Anyway, that was my rant on the public. For what was mentioned just a few short days ago, a couple short days ago, we have the Tide Pod Challenge 2.0. If you don't know what I'm talking about, our president, I'm not going to say stated this verbatim, but it is implied that he suggested that, certain, that's, that people inject themselves with disinfectant. Don't fucking do that. I have a video as to why this is a bad idea. It's literally one of the earlier episodes of What the Fuck Internet when the Tide Pod Challenge was a fucking thing. Don't inject yourself with, with uh, bleach. Don't inject yourself with disinfectant. Don't bathe in it. Don't drink it. Don't inhale it. Just wait till they come up with something to fucking do. To fucking get, settle this. That is not the answer. I mean, if, don't get me wrong, and doing so would definitely kill the virus. It would kill you too, but it would kill the virus. So, don't inject yourself with disinfectant. Don't fucking drink the bleach. Because it's bad enough our hospitals are filled up with people that have the virus. The last thing we need is people fucking going in because they poison themselves with fucking bleach. Listen to, doc, listen to a doc, listen to somebody that's got a degree in this shit, and not somebody that's going to say... Oh, well, is there a way to inject uh, disinfectant to kill the virus? Because it shows, oh, that bleach can kill it in a minute. It can kill it in a minute, but does it mean we should fucking, oh, I don't know, do a mass genocide to fucking get rid of the virus? So to prove a point, to go back on something that I said earlier on in this video, it is not impossible to fucking do certain shit on your own. Big example, cut your own fucking hair. Again, mine not might not necessarily be the longest, but bear with me for a few moments. And the haircut is that damn easy. Now, this isn't the exact length that I was gunning for, but it, it didn't cost anything, and it could definitely look a hell of a lot fucking worse. Anyway, I want to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. <laughs>